it's described as being like a, like a master athlete and master of physical combat. Uh, so you, you get some things like you crit more often, and you are uh, that, and you have bonuses on strength and uh, constitution, or it might even be strength, dexterity, and constitution. Uh, but physical ability checks and some other random stuff, but they're all passives. Mm. So you get a bunch of passive bonuses. Uh, and the Battle Master is pretty nifty. Uh, the way the Battle Master works is you get a number of superiority dice that recover on a short rest. Uh, and you have a number of battle maneuvers that you can activate with them. Uh, and the, uh, the, a large portion of them are, are along the lines of, uh, you, uh, okay, you attack an enemy and when you hit, you can spend a superiority die. Uh, enemy makes a save or suffers X condition and you add the superiority die to your damage roll. So I just saw the stupidest champion enemy. Oh? The base enemy was that it just sort of wandered around and left red creep on the ground. Which, if Isaac stands on, he gets hurt. He also had the champion effect that as he walks around, he leaves green creep on the ground. Which, if you stand on, you get hurt? Which, if you stand on, you get hurt. Except that he's already leaving red creep on the ground. Yeah, that seems kind of pointless. Just a little. Also, I need to stop getting hit. But yeah, so... What? So the battle masters can do some nifty things, uh, like they can, uh, like tripping enemies, forcing movement. Uh, some of some of their abilities actually allow you to grant uh, uh, grant allies the ability to move off turn, which is kind of nice. Which or does sound kind of cool. Although at least from what I've seen, the the uh, grant an ally the ability to attack off turn ability is kind of disappointing because you give up one of your own attacks to do that. Yeah, but you're a fighter, so you get however many of them. You don't actually get more attacks than other characters until like 11th level. Because you, you get your first extra attack at the same time as most of the other martial classes. You know what? I'm glad I died there. I had 29 oh. coins, went into the shop. It's not a shop, it's a green fight. At that point, I needed to not be continuing the run. Oh, I just got Curse of the Blind. I'm not starting a run with Curse of the Blind. Let's try that again, game. Un Curse, of the, Curse of the Blind is you can't see your, see the items, right? Yeah, Curse of the Blind is you can't see the items. Uh, I also just needed- Be prepared to never see a use item. I also just needed to not be on a run where the game decided that, Hey, you know how you start with soy milk and thus can't increase your uh, fire rate. Yeah, have two items that increase your fire rate. I just needed to not be continuing that. That was that was bad. Like if I see another cheers up item, I'm starting. Quiet. Yeah, you're kind of super quiet. Yeah, I know. Okay. What's up? Um, I would like for you to connect to me. Okay. On the map. 
And I'm going to double check, make sure my IP is the same. So I'm just going to send it to you. Doop. And foop. Oh, oh, on uh, on the Mac game. Yeah, just to make sure I've got the uh, because I had to change some things about the network. Uh, sorry for that interruption stream, I sort of, uh, got... Mother was letting me know that she was going to store... What's in this bag? Keys! Keys everywhere. Beautiful, glorious keys. Let's go. So, is it okay if I read off some examples of things you can use, you think of maneuvers that Battlemaster fighters get? Yes! I am okay with this. You read... yes. Okay, so... Let's see. Uh... Menacing attack. When you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you... Yep. Okay. I messaged it to you directly on Discord. But it connected, and you're fine? Yep, I'm in. Okay. You can, you can expect awesome. one superiority die to attempt see. to fight don't need that, that, don't need that, don't need that. I need... You add the superiority die to the weapon's damage, to the attack's damage roll, and the target must make a wisdom saving throw. On failed save, it is frightened of you until the end of your next turn. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, frightened is a pretty brutal condition. It's not... It, it's more and less brutal than it was in Pathfinder. Yeah. Oh, let me see. Hold on, let me find conditions on there. Conditions. Uh, frightened. A frightened creature has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within line of sight. Huh. The creature can't willingly move closer to the source of its fear. That's, that's pretty harsh. Yeah. So you can do some cool stuff with it. If you fight an enemy, you, it, if you're like a ranged fighter, you could fight an enemy and then, say, stand next to the squishy members of your party. Yes! And then they can't move towards them. That that actually sounds like something that uh, an archer fighter would do. Is stand next to the mage and frighten someone. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not a battle master fighter. I am an eldritch knight fighter. Yes, but, but you get cool things with spells because that's what spells do. Yeah. Spells uh, do cool see. things, so therefore spells. Uh, precision attack is no. Precision attack isn't interesting, but it's worth noting. It is useful. It's big, uh, I'm, I'm talking about a different one. Yeah, yeah, precision attack. Precision attack isn't interesting, but it's useful. Yes. Uh, and it's worth noting. Uh, when you make a weapon attack roll against a creature, you can expend one superiority die, superiority die to add it to the roll. The attack roll. Uh-huh. Which is important to note, because almost every other maneuver adds it to the damage roll. Yes. Uh, let's see. Parry. When another creature damages you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction and expend one superiority die to reduce the damage by the number you roll on the superiority die, plus your dexterity. Nice. Uh, so, so repose. When a creature misses you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction and expend one superiority die to make a melee weapon attack against the creature. 
If you hit, you add the superiority die for the attack damage roll. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like a good plan. Turn him up because his microphone's not literally next to his face. And the moment his microphone is literally next to his face, he's turned up. Okay. Let's see, uh, goading attack, G-O-A-D-I-N-G, goading. Uh -huh. When you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you can expend one superiority die to attempt to goad the target into attacking. You add the superiority die to the attack's damage roll, and the target must make a wisdom saving. On a failed save, the target has disadvantage on all attack rolls against targets other than you until the end of your next turn. Nice. That that sounds amazing. Not gonna lie. You know what? I have like seven keys. What's in here? I will be totally honest. From a strictly mechanical perspective, that is worse than a frightening attack or a menacing attack. Because Frightened gives them disadvantage on all attack rolls, period. Yes. Uh, what if you want to stay? Sort of lures them into attacking you instead of other. So it, so it has kind of a different effect. Because. I, I, still I still feel like Goading Attack should have something else going for it, like disadvantage on the saving throw or something. Possibly, yeah. But, yeah. I think the other thing is that as a fighter, you're usually expected to be using melee weapons, because that's just sort of what most fighters do, and so frightening them, while you also still want to hit them, will usually mean you running after them, whereas goading yeah, them remember, means they will come. Fighters are described as being able to use a wide range of weapons, and... Uh, yes. Archery is one of the fighting styles that fighters can take. Yes. And none of these maneuvers require you to be using a melee weapon, which I am very thankful for because that would be stupid. Yes, but like 90% of what uh, you'll get from, from a fighter is melee because Archery is like archery is probably the only ranged weapon fighting style. Unless except uh, maybe throwing. Uh, oh, oh. Fighter with a slingshot. <laughs> uh, rally. On your turn, you can use a bonus action and expend one superiority die to bolster the resolve of one of your companions. When you do so, choose a friendly creature who can see or hear you. That creature gains temporary hit points equal to the superiority die roll plus your charisma modifier. Yes. Alright. Sweet. No, no, don't run into the bullet, me. That's actually kind of stupid and great. Because, uh, uh, the rules for temporary hit points are if the effect doesn't explicitly say when the hit points wear off, they, they last until the, uh, recipient finishes a long rest. Which edition is this? Fifth. fifth. Nice. I like fifth. I did a little bit of play in fifth. I wrote a shit ton of character sheets in fifth. You haven't I, played a single kill one of them in fifth. I've I've actually played a few of them in fifth. For a little bit. In a, in a face to face game. It was fun. I oh, watched somebody that. roll I watched somebody roll three eighteens for a cleric. Lol. In a row? Yeah. Roll. Yep. That that must have been the most decked out cleric. She was amusing. Yeah, uh, of the two 5th edition games I've been in, uh, 
we've only 